Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Let's talk about do's and don't with auto page refresh and change detection in direct query connections. If you are new here, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified. Let's check it out. As that you can see, I am deleting records from my database and that is getting reflected in my Power BI matrix visual without any refresh. We are going to take a deep dive with these features and we'll understand how it works with your database. I have created this user's table in my SQL Server database. And first of all, I will connect to this table from my Power BI desktop. I will enter my server name and database name, which is PBI Helpline 2. The connection mode I will select as Direct Query Mode. From this list of tables, I will choose my user's table, which I created. Here are the fields of the user's table, which is connected to the SQL Server database. For this demo, I have created this matrix visual using my username column and amount column. The first thing to check is how direct query interacts with my database. For that I am creating a calculated column in my table because I wanted to have a gender slicer, but I only had gender ID in my table. Let's see how it works. Before I present you the amazing change detection feature with auto page refresh, let's first grab the query set by my visual. I will open performance analyzer. Here I can record the actions and then copy the DAX query from this section. Now I can open my favorite DAX Studio from my external tools option. Here I will also use SQL Profiler from its advanced option to analyze change detection and auto page refresh features. While copying the DAX query, you will find here both the query options. Let's look into it. Here is my DAX query, which includes all the evaluation context. In the direct query section, the expression for my calculated column will also be sent to the data source each time. It means it creates additional load on the server. If you use direct query connection, you might be aware about auto page refresh and change detection. Let's see how it works. From the advanced option of my DAX Studio, I will select SQL Profiler so that I can closely look into the actions parallel to the auto page refresh and change detection. From a lot of options, let's just focus on the direct query processing. All right, after all this setup, I will jump back again inside Power BI Desktop and then first enable Auto Page Refresh for every second. With SQL Profiler enabled, you will notice that it is continuously sending the visuals query to actual data source and refreshing the visuals every second, which may be not required. As that you can see, the query includes the entire calculations including the calculated columns expression. With change detection, it refreshes the visuals only if there is a change in the measure, which you define. So I have selected the change detection option. And now I will use some of amount as my measure. And then again, I will select one second. I am selecting every second. Just for this demo, you should evaluate the query time based on your requirement to set the refresh frequency. Let's look into the queries now. As that you can see, it is sending a query every second, but this time the query is very small and it is just checking the sum of amount column from my table. Visuals will be refreshed only if change is detected. Let's delete some of the records from the table to check if visuals are being refreshed automatically with the changes. As that you can see, my matrix visual is immediately showing the change and removing the deleted records without manual intervention from Power BI. With that you will have an idea about the refresh frequency and the impact of it with auto page refresh and change detection features. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for all such interesting topics in Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.